just made you so relaxed immediately. You know, you know how she was. She's so kind, and everything that she says and comes out of her mouth is just so graceful and so elegant and so warm. And so immediately, I felt like, oh my gosh, I need to study with. I need to be accepted into her studio and. So the rest is a history. I mean, it's like every time, though, you know, I don't know if you felt the same way, but um, every lesson that I had with Miss Delay, I felt like, oh my gosh, she's heard this piece played by <laughs> Nidori, Mr. Perlman, Nadja Salmer Sonnenberg, Chodan Lin, you know, all these great violinists, way better than I could ever play. And I'm just learning this piece. So I was extremely nervous, but um, it, but also it motivated me to practice, you know, prepare for lessons but um yeah she was she was strict for sure I mean you know there will be lessons that are like super short because that meant that you didn't have anything ready really because she would just mark all the wrong intonations <laughs> with her signature sort of like a little forte with a circle mark and then she would be like okay sweetie I will see you next week so it could be as long as the the music that I was playing or it could sometimes go for like over an hour. She would talk about, oh, where can we, you know, where can you perform this piece? Where, whom could you play this for? And what competitions? And so, you know, it was all up to you and made you incredibly responsible human being, which was, you know, not an easy thing for a 13 year old at the time. <laughs> it's wonderful, it's wonderful to hear you share these memories, yes. and. You mentioned Midori. Midori was the, the first one who opened this uh, series this year in October. And we have wonderful uh, lineup of the artists already. And uh, hopefully we'll continue in, in 2021 with a more exciting season of uh, former Midori students. And perhaps we can even include some of the renowned artists who somehow connect uh, some kind of bridge over the over the world with uh, with Ms. Delay, but not necessarily her students. We'll see how it goes. But so before we have a next uh, player who has already been waiting for for uh, his uh, time to play for for us uh, Paganini Concerto uh, Number One First Moment. It's it's uh, uh, his name is Jonah Karfman. He comes from Chicago. Actually, he's freshman at the, at the DePaul. Uh, and uh, what is interesting, I just found out also that his teacher is Yi Hao Li, also a oh. uh, former student of Ms. Delay. Yes, I know Yi Hao. So, it's pre college. It, it, it's interesting. <laughs> and uh, actually, I would like to, to maybe wait a few more minutes uh, before Joanna will uh, join us because I'm expecting a very special guest is going to be a surprise for you, Qian, and for uh, everyone else. So while we wait for this wonderful person to appear on the screen, maybe I can ask you that question. What is your practicing routine and how it has changed in the last, I don't know, 20 years or so? Share with us. Tell us some secrets. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if it's it's really not a secret i i actually try to ask the same question to my colleagues you know when i see you, you like when we were meeting for the little zoom thing like right after us getting up and you're already like playing isai like <laughs> performance level I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> that actually prompted me to practice and warm up but i mean you know, it's like, I think it's not so much, you know, we stop counting the hours we practice now, you know, at this age. <laughs> and um, when we were students, you know, Miss Delay always said, like, make sure that you practice at least three to four hours a day, every day, and make that as your priority. But, and also, but, you know, she also talked about, it's not how much you practice, but how you practice. Um, so that knowing how to practice well i think is key and also keeping in good shape i mean you know physically like try to i try to eat healthy i try to exercise spin hard with pandemic and lockdown um so to have it consistently going it's been hard and you know not having like a concert coming up to scare me to practice or something but if i don't practice i mean i feel it immediately you know i I took like two weeks off and then after that I was like oh my gosh I like 
I'm playing with scales, but I was like, oh my god, my, I, I don't have calluses anymore. I was freaking out. So at this at, at this point, like I enjoy practicing because I know if I don't practice, I'm gonna have a horrible time concertizing on stage. I'm gonna get really nervous, really uncomfortable, and not gonna have fun. So I know what the consequences are. So and also, you know, you have to kind of know your um, strength and weakness. And Great. also, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's wonderful yeah. that you're saying this. So I, I'm going to ask our special guest to unmute herself and, uh, and turn on the camera. And while she's going to do this, because I think she hears me, uh, I would like to say that this is a very special lady for both of us. Chiyan, it's, it's a surprise for you. But Susan, you have to unmute yourself. I did it. Ah! <laughs> Now we see you. So let let me just say that this is wonderful person. It's a it's Susan Wadsworth who is founder of incredible organization Young Concert Artists, and she's been uh, really nurturing this organization for sixty years. And because of this YC organization, and because of this Susan, I personally came to this uh, wonderful country, and she practically drugged me. <laughs> <laughs> to come to YCA and and interestingly enough uh, we won this uh, audition in in 1989 together with Chiyan and we met because of the Susan at the during the audition so it's really a great pleasure to welcome you Susan and to see you that you stay as young as 30 years ago and you have energy for you know we can just envy how much energy you have it's all for music <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chiyan, it's Hi. great to see you. Hi. So great to see you. I mean, Dima, I, I know, I, I wasn't sure if, we, you know, you were going to talk about this, but like, you know, we go way back, like 1989. I remember like when I was auditioning for Young Concert Artists, I mean, it was, it was like the most important competition, you know, for all the Juilliard or whoever wanted to have a career or have a concert and for me i was like oh i'm sure i'm not gonna get it this time you know i'll probably have to try like several times and then i had heard that you were coming all the way from russia you had one paganini competition this like incredible violence i was like oh i definitely don't have chance <laughs> so i mean it was like such an honor for me to you know win the same audition at the same time as you dima and and for susan to give us this chance i mean without you i won't be here of Seriously. course not. You would disappear. <laughs> no, okay. you know, I remember when you were playing um, and and Lin Chang was on the jury and he was behind me. And when you were playing, I heard him say, wow, this is somebody special. <laughs> so I was very happy about that. And I remember Dima, Emmanuel Axe was on the jury and he had told me he'd be on the jury but he didn't know anything about anything except piano. So he wasn't going to say anything about anybody except piano. And when there was a discussion about you, wow, he just went on and on and on and on and on about how great you were. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had actually wonderful accompanies at that time. Your you name had what? What, what? I remember that he actually complimented the companies I had at that time, Anna Balakiewska, we came actually from Moscow at that time. So he, I remember that he personally liked her playing as well. It, oh, it, yeah. It, Susan, I just want to say uh, something which is really related to this, uh, this seminar and this series with the dedication to Dorothy Delay, because you actually introduced me to Dorothy Delay. When I came to, to perform one of the first uh, concerts through YCA, I, I played, I think, at the Kennedy Center in 1990. And uh, I remember that you arranged the meeting and I came with you and with my father at that time. He was also with me and my actually aunt who was living in New York and she was translating. I remember vividly how we all came to Dorothy Delay Julie School and she was, of course, very sweet and very welcoming. But I would like to thank you again for everything you've done for me and for many, many other artists. And that so many more Russian artists came because they knew that you were 
taking such a great <laughs> take care of uh, of me when Even I came Russia. one of the first ones I think from former Soviet Union in 1990 and then there are many many excellent violinists and other uh, musicians who came uh, because they knew that you're going to take care of them so thank you oh well thank you for spreading the word because you know you all are what give me life it's just such a joy for me to know you and know how you play and hear you and all the great things you've done it's really uh gives me energy gives me love gives me music it's the best thing in my life <laughs>